Hello, beach friends. I can't wait to finish this walk and show you all the neato things I found. Now, this is part two of a kayak tour I took with SWFL Shell Guide. I stopped last week's video about halfway through the shell tour and today we're gonna finish. So at this point, we've already launched bright and early. We've paddled out to some sandbars and that's where we're gonna be spending the rest of our day. And I can't wait to show you. Now, last week I found Whole bunch of sand dollars, found a bunch of apple murex, found some banded tulips, but today we're going to finish and I can't wait to show you some of the really cool things I found. So if you're ready to finish our shell tour, let's go to the beach. Here we are at this ridiculously beautiful sandbar and again we are already in the thick of it shelling in the water zigzagging back and forth looks like we're gonna start today's with <laughs> today's video with a florida fighting conch i know i promise i'm not gonna be i picked them all up already so we're not gonna pick up too many of those here we have an auger and if you're shelling in the water just be really careful make sure you check make sure there's no critters in there Okay, cool. All right, banded tulip. And another, and a broken banded tulip. Okay, since I picked up the first one, yeah, I'm just gonna keep that one. I'm gonna keep that one because it looks perfect. Oh, that's a really pretty banded tulip. And, oh, okay, calico scallop. Beautiful purple color, just lovely. Oh, bummer. I thought that was a crown conch, but that is a piece of a true tulip. And I'm really hoping one of these days, I'm gonna get my hands on a big one of those. Now that is a Florida fighting conch. And what I thought was interesting about this guy is I hear people talking about the purple, the purple on the inside, and I don't think it's rare, and but I still find it interesting. So probably gonna try to clean up that guy because I just love the Florida fighting conchs. Now this is a very, common shell this is a ponderous arc now that black stuff on it that's called the periostracum and that is an organic shell layer that covers part or the entire shell so I thought that was kind of cool that that shell produces that periostracum and that's why it's black here we have a turkey wing it is oh it's i would say it's lovely it is lovely but it does have a little hole in it oh well Okay, lightning whelk, but I have already picked up a whole bunch of those, so I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that for somebody else. Looks like a tulip. Yep, it's broken tulip. So that is a banded tulip, although a little beat up. I found some whole ones, so I'm probably gonna leave that one. It all depends, I never know. <laughs> never know what I'm gonna keep, what I'm gonna not keep. That I'm definitely keeping. That is a beautiful banded tulip. Oh, yay. Very exciting. What do we got here? Another one. Oh, well, it's got some stuff on it. It's a little beat up. Probably not going to keep that. Going to keep looking, though. Okay. A little, another one of those Florida fighting conks. Kind of admire it. I don't know whether I kept that or not, probably. <laughs> now that's a lettered olive, gorgeous. Cool letterings on that, giant M. And another, oh, look at the pattern on that. That is also a juvenile Florida fighting cock with this really cool coloring and patterns. I mean, it's broken, not gonna keep it, but pretty, pretty shell. Now, I thought I was going for the Sunray Venus, but I was going for this other olive. That is another nice, big, fat lettered olive. Awesome. And another banded tulip. Yay. Now I'm going to wait. Yep. Okay. Not too bad. 
I kind of wait to see how that edge is going to look. That's not too bad. Just a little tiny chip. Definitely going to keep that. Now check this out. That is a stingray. And actually it's a southern stingray. Isn't that beautiful? Now you do need to be kind of wary. I mean, I'm never afraid, but you're supposed to do what's called the stingray shuffle between May and October, just to kind of, those guys are around, just kind of give them a heads up that you're headed their way. You want to do a little bit of shuffling. Oh, bummer. That is a pear whelk, a really pretty pear whelk, but it's a little beat up. So I'm not going to keep that. Ooh, now that is a lace murex with a whole bunch of barnacles on it. I don't know. It's just something kind of, something about that shell. I'm going to keep it. A gaudy nautica, also known as a colorful moon snail. Super duper cool. All right. And a top snail. Cute little guy. Now this is interesting. This is actually called a crucifix shell, but it's really just the skull of a catfish. But it does kind of have that crucifix look to it. And some people do collect those. Figured I'd just show you guys. Another, wait a minute. Okay, that's a lace murex, but man, that thing is white. I mean, really white, not like bleached out white like super duper white, like maybe an albino. I was really excited about that because maybe that's an albino. We'll take another look at it at the end. I'm going to ask you for your opinion. But for now, we're going to admire this ribbed cantharis. This is a fun little shell. They only get to be about 1.2 inches. And that's, I it took me a long time to kind of identify those. And now it's one of my favorites, the ribbed cantharis. All right, we're scanning. Looks like the tide, well, I know the tide is coming in, so hopefully it's pushing things onto the beach for me. All right, a beat up broken tulip. We'll just leave that, but let's, yeah, let's do that. So just in case so somebody can see that it's broken right off the bat. We're scanning and looking. A Sunray Venus. Though I am on a tour, so I really, I'm kind of, Concentrating on things I'm not really finding all the time, like another banded tulip. Fantastic. Right, scanning. Oh, hopefully that was a, a good push. Push some of those fun shells onto the beach. All right. It was really yellow. I figured I'd take a peek. That's a yellow prickly cockle. Oh, look, isn't it pretty? Now that is a lace murex. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, so pretty. Gorgeous lace murex. All right, looks like another lightning whelk. Ooh, nice and dark. Now, they're supposed to be the males, those dark ones, and the lighter ones are the females. Again, I cannot confirm or deny just what I heard. Looks like I'm chasing. Oh, I thought it was an olive, but no. That is a little horse conch. Woohoo! I love those little guys. And then this is just an orange worm snail of some sort. It was very bright. I thought that was cool. Add that to my orange shell collection. It looks like part of a lightning whelk, yeah. A little beat up. We'll leave that for somebody else. Oh, yay! All right, that is a lace murex. That is a lightning whelk. We'll take a peek at this. Mm, it's kind of broken. Yeah, we'll leave that, but not that. Isn't that pretty? So that is a lace murex. They're a little taller than the apple murexes, and they have those flares. Beautiful shells, I love those. The lace murex. And a pear whelk. That is missing a little bit of color. We're still in great shape. I'm gonna keep that. Another banded tulip. Awesome. Awesome, I like the dark ones, but I'm certainly not gonna leave that. Beautiful. 
Now there we go. There's an apple, Murex. A little bit fatter. It's not quite as tall as the uh, the lace Murex. Beautiful. Look at this. Another apple. And another gaudy nautica. Oh, very cool. All right, it's a little bit chipped on the bottom, but <laughs> not too shabby. Oh, there it is. That's the one I showed you last week. Look at that. So that is a spiny jewel box that is like the most awesome spiny jewel box I've ever found. It's super duper spiky, which is one of the things I love about those shells, and it's hinged. I get both halves of it, so I was super excited about that added that to my special shell collection. Now this week for our beach time, we're doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna give you your beach time, but I just wanna let you know that I do have a two hour video up on my channel that if you ever needed a bunch of your own beach time, you can go and just have it whenever you want. So I'm gonna be quiet now and let you have your beach time. Now I was asked what would be the one shell that I would really like to find on this tour. And you know what I said? I said a rose murex. Guys, that is a rose murex. It is the first and only one I've ever found. I don't even know that I've seen one in like real life. So that is a rose murex complete with its bottom. It's got fantastic color. It's just beautiful. So happy with that. It's like a bucket list shell for me. Awesome. Okay, we have a calico scallop. Pretty decent size on that guy. Oh, this is a bummer. Yep, that is an alphabet cone that would have been just stunning, but it's been hanging around for a while. Probably passed up by quite a few other shellers. So we'll just admire it, leave it for somebody else. But wait, I see some kind of fun colors. Oh, look at that. Look at the patterns on that. So neat. All right, I'm not going to keep it. I do have a little bit of self-restraint, although not that much. Let's uh, Okay, beat up. That's another Apple Murex. Definitely seen some better days. But what do we got here? Oh, nope. Just a half. What about this one? Ah, that's kind of neat. Juvenile Florida Fighting Conk. Oh, so fun. So much stuff here. What's this? Well, that is an Apple Murex that I'm going to keep. Awesome. And another one. Ooh, that one's really pretty. I like the dark colors on that. So once again, not too shabby. Awesome finds. What's this? All right, looks like we got ourselves a little worn down lace murex it's not quite as lacy as it should be but we also got a colorful moon snail all right cool and here is another one of those ribbed canthrus shells i will definitely keep that just take that barnacle off no problem and another little top snail they're fun little guys i've only ever seen one alive just one oh <gasps> Look at that. All right, it's a horse conch. Normally I'd be doing my dance, but I did get my big one. So I'm going to kind of control myself. I'm still happy. Look at the color on that. Oh, it's beautiful. Really happy with that. A lace murex with a whole bunch of beach stuff that I absolutely will keep and pick off. No problem. Yep. See, even there at the beach, some of that stuff comes right off. But if you kind of Get your little dental tool in there. You can definitely remove all that other stuff. Beautiful. And we scored another banded tulip. Awesome. And another. That looks just like a cousin to the one we just picked up. 
and a worm snail. I do like worm snails because they're just all weird. That's a Florida worm snail complete with a barnacle. Love it. Another, now this, I know you really can't tell by the color, but by that shape, that is a gaudy nautica, just completely devoid of any kind of color. So there were a couple other people, definitely not crowded. It was pretty awesome. Hey, when you're on a sandbar, you're probably not going to run into too many people. You're not going to be able to run to the snack bar, but I don't know. I think it's probably a pretty good trade if you look at that view. What do we got here? Another Apple Murex. See, some of that stuff just kind of crumbles right off. Another Gaudi Nautica. It's got a little hole in it. That's okay. Awesome. <gasps> look at this. Now it's just a piece, but that look at how fabulous that color is. So that is a piece of a colorful moon snail and I'm going to keep it. It's awesome. Now there's another spiny jewel box. Now that is typically what I find. They're a little bit spiky. They don't have those beautiful long spikes, but I still do like those shells. Now, I have gone on two other shell tours. Both of them were from a boat. This is the first time I did one of the kayak tours and I absolutely loved it. So I'm just gonna say it again. If you're interested in going on a kayak shell tour, get in touch with SWFL Shell Guide. She was fantastic. And then the last little shell before we go, is a crown conch, not too bad either. Pretty decent crown conch. And so to finish out the day, you get back in your kayak, you make sure you protect your shells. That is the most important thing. I, not too worried about my backpack or my phone, but those shells, I've got to make sure to protect those shells. So we paddle back. And again, just overall, it was super fun. Highly recommend this particular tour. But if you're having a hard time finding shells in the summer, it is a little bit tough. I was really shocked at how many great things were out there. So maybe consider doing a tour. So we left, the weather wasn't too bad. It's a bummer because you can only, you know, it's only a four hour tour. You're only out there for a limited amount of time. But I'd have to say that I found some pretty good stuff. So let's review all the goodies that we found. So we were some sand dollars and that was really from part one along with all those lightning whelks. And I did pick up a couple Sunray Venus clams and a turkey wing, some nutmegs, bunch of those tulips, ended up doing really great with those, a bunch of colorful moon snails, a couple shark eyes, a bunch of those apple murex, which is super cool. Scallops, I, I really was good, kind of controlled myself with the scallops, not so much with the Florida fighting cocks. I took a lot home. That green one, we saw last week how great that cleaned up bunch of those olives and now we're getting to my favorite part we have the spiny jewel box got a couple cones that cool horse conch lace murex and that rose murex that was super duper awesome and so funny that I kind of not that I made it happen what's the word when you make it uh you manifest it I manifested that shell now I didn't want to forget about this one because I think that that is an albino lace murex. But please, what do you think? If you know, if you think you know, drop me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are on this particular shell. I think it is, but let, let's see what everybody else says. Now that is a shell I picked up last week and it was really a pretty like tangerine color. And so I figured I'd take two seconds and put some mineral oil on it. it does not take long. I do have a video comparing acid to mineral oil. I'll put a link right there in case you're looking to maybe watch that. And then look what happens. It just, it took two seconds and that color on the front, that white part's kind of gone at this point. And why, why am I doing this? Well, because I really have a thing <laughs> for Florida fighting cogs. I just love them. And so that orange shell right there, it earned a spot in my special bowl of Florida fighting cogs. So guys, that was really, really fun. Thank you so much for coming along. Special shout out to my Patreons. You guys are great. You all are great. You all are fantastic. I appreciate you more than you can know. So thank you so much for coming along with me. Next week, again, super fun, super duper fun. I have something really special to share with you. It was totally cool. Can't wait. Thank you for coming along. Have a great week and I'll see you next Sunday.